Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is our 2019 goals. So this year we have a lot planned and we are so excited. Our goals for this year are, you know, we've kind of sat down, we've re-evaluated from last year. We have kind of shown Amanda and I have sat down and we're like, okay, we like this. We don't like this about last year. What are some goals that we are going to have that are attainable and that are good for us to, you know, look at, to, to be able to drive towards. And we really wanted goals that is not like, okay, we're going to lose 50 pounds in the first week and we're going to be in the gym with everybody and their mother. Um, we really wanted goals that are more of the lines of something that we can work with that are attainable. And at the end of 2019, we could be like, yes, we did it. We were able to accomplish that on a daily basis for a long-term result instead of a really short, you know, very minimal focused um, sort of goal. So we really encourage you like throughout this video to be uh, thinking about these goals that you'll have for yourself. And even if it's just like three goals uh, for this year, like I kid you not, it's probably better than what you accomplished last year. But, and so I've heard of some people making like list of 10, 15 things, but we really just encourage you to make three or five things that are just attainable for your life and for your situation and for you to execute those on a daily basis. So one of those things at the top of our list is to be healthy, healthier. So we live in a kind of a crazy lifestyle of always on the go. Um, we may have time off at random times, but mostly we're doing a lot uh, either working or doing a lot with Travis Heath racing to where we are working on the car. We're doing stuff in the background, trying to get that stuff you know, working and um, kind of planned out. So we are kind of on the track of trying to be healthier. So at each meal, either lowering our portions or eating a little bit more on the healthy side and grilled chicken instead of fried chicken and um, exercising, doing bike rides, you know, going to the gym when we can, just having that mind of let's be healthier and do what we can do. Um, for us, a huge lifestyle change of completely going and either doing the keto diet or doing something else is really not feasible um, right now. So that is something that we're not used to and that we haven't had the discipline. So we figured just to be able to start at the minimal and work towards just being healthier and alongside being healthier physically, we really want to work towards being healthy spiritually. So um, like Amanda has a goal of reading the Bible from front to back this year. And um, she also wants to start either writing about it or doing some sort of um, like exhortation on what she's writing or what she's experienced or what God's doing. And uh, for me, honestly, I want to try to keep a daily devotional time with God and reading my Bible and really get that back ingrained. Um, I've really lost that from being in Bible college. I, was, I had a time, I had a place. I really was good at that and, um, and spending time with God. But now things are so hectic that I find myself often making excuses and or just doing that. So now I've been waking up early, reading my Bible, praying, and even sometimes it's really hard to do and I don't succeed at that, but it's just like, all right, God, you see me, let's move on. Next day we're starting, we're keeping going. We're not starting over, we're continuing because it's a journey. And that's a big thing um, that I had a pastor teach me and had five verses laid out, or you had a verse every, every day to read and pray about. And I would show up to our weekly meeting and he'd be like, okay, you didn't do Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And I was like, oh, I'm going to get to those. I'm going to go back and do it. And he's like, no, don't. God sees you. It's a journey. Just continue on. 
and that's really cool and that's really our mindset about our goals like life happens things get hectic and as long as we come back and work on it and we miss a day here or there like god sees that and we're actively pursuing him so just having that mindset of not to beat ourselves up and just still continue to to just run full force into god's arms every day and when we mess up we mess up but we're going to continue doing that so those are kind of our goals um for you know living healthy that's like our number one thing and our second goal is going to be the travis heath racing side is to make that more of a professional thing that we're doing so um we're just creating a logo going to be adding merch to it making our our season we're running the full season of lone star drift so making that season uh, we already are working on just the scheduling, uh, what needs to be done to the car, the upkeep on the car, the maintenance, which is all coming. We have two, mo two months to do it. So there'll be a lot of work, a lot of video content coming from that. But just to be able to take you on for the ride, last season we tried to do it at the beginning. When things started to get hectic, we really dropped out the media side and aside from Instagram and just focused on the car, but we really want to do it all as in a whole this year, get volunteers that can help us either video or be track side. That way we have time to be able to fully present it as a, just a full envelope of media content and professionalism for y'all. And, um, and for ourselves, really, we've been. This is something that we've been wanting to do: is to go all in, plan it out, make it happen. So that's what we've been doing um, since about, I would say, like the end of November. We've been really planning and and believing God for for the finances to do it, and He's just made amazing opportunities and um, just ways for us to do it that we could not explain. Uh, just one of those quick things is that we were looking for fenders for the car, which sell for about 200 bucks. We ended up buying a full parts car, a whole nother car for $250. So that's one of the things we'll be taking a lot of parts off and it'll be an extra spare, but that's just God working in our lives and we can't do it without them. So that um, Travis Heath Racing is, is our number two thing that we're going to do aside from... Uh, being healthy at the top, Travis Heath Racing as a whole, um, doing the whole season. We're going to be creating content from that and bringing y'all along with us on that. Um, I want you to see the ins and outs of what we do. And I apologize in advance because our schedule is hectic, that there may be some videos that are shot in the dark. Hopefully we're going to try to make it where you can see, but that is unfortunately the time that we have to work on the car so um we are going to just do the best we can to video it bring you along for the ride and take you to each event uh, previous videos we were just working on the car and never produced anything from the events which we went to four last year um last season so we want to take you along to each event do a journey you know going what what it's like there so you can see and you're supporting us here on YouTube and we want we don't take that lightly. We honestly appreciate your time and we want to give you the content of us going to the track and us doing other things just then working on the car. And um, so number three on the list is to start venturing out on the media side of what we do. So um, I have already a potential client to make videos for and um, so kind of I'm not sure if I'll take you along on those video shoots but I may be posting those videos on the channel I want to do uh, more of just our lifestyle and kind of take you through the lens of what we do we have an interesting dynamic and God's blessed us so much with a calling on our lives and a purpose um, to be in ministry and to be in drifting and to you know work full-time jobs 
and you can see it from like three different in church or to volunteering and attending uh, church to being full time and drifting and full time in a machine shop family owned business that it is a very very interesting dynamic and we do a lot we go through a lot so we definitely want to continue to bring you through that so we want to do more of the lifestyle type things um, of course the Travis Heath racing we want to do full content through that and other than that God's put a lot of different things on my heart to be able to uh, a lot of different projects that I want to complete in 2019 and it's honestly a goals list that God's put on my heart and I'm praying to see you know if, if it's for this year and if it's not then it would be for the years to come but like the spoken word video i've always wanted to shoot a spoken word and i continue uh we've already planned and we're going to continue to shoot them uh with peyton johns which was the last spoken word and um he has some new stuff that he wants to do and so that would be great i want to get into doing um some testimonies of what god's done in people's lives and and just that's so powerful and you can just see God ingrained in those stories because there's no way outside of faith and God moving that that things that God does in people's lives would happen. There's just no explanation and my deal is when there's no explanation, then it's God. So um, those are some different video media projects. So all, in a, all summed up, we just created three different different goals and i encourage you to do this three different goals that may be widespread but really attainable so it's really daunting when you look at all the pieces but we're just believing in faith and we know we can't do it without god and saying we want to live a healthier life physically spiritually we want to take racing and what god has given our passion for that and to love on people through racing we want to take that as a whole and and see it out and do it and show up and and just give y'all content to learn and to see our lives and just the media side and see what god wants what stories god wants us to tell through you know everything that we do in our lifestyle so i really encourage you 2019 can be accomplished and it, you won't have to feel like you did at 2018 just make three goals that are attainable, and if you mess up, just keep going. It's a journey. It's not a to-do list. It's not a check-off list that if you mess up one day that you have to exit off for 2019. So I, we really believe in you. We think you can do it. We know you can do it, and we just encourage you to make that list, check it off, and we really honestly appreciate you watching. And I really wanted to make time to say this because we don't have a lot of subscribers on the channel. We don't have a lot of views, but we're not doing it for subscriptions and for views. God's put a calling on our hearts and on our lives. And we honestly just want to bless you, show God, show what God's doing in our lives and to give it to you in this free platform that you can watch and that you can be blessed from. And if you have any questions about Amanda and I's relationship or life or journey or the car things or anything that you want us to expand on or see, definitely comment below. Honestly, go ahead and comment and we will get back to you. And uh, just all the way down to your single view, we think that it is so, so precious. And honestly, we're just so happy that you found this channel, you found this video and uh, we just love it we love that we're able to bless you and bring our lens of who god is in our life and our story into videos like this so please just stay connected um, if you don't want to subscribe now that's fine we just ask that you come back and find a video and see if you want to then uh, but go ahead give a thumbs up thumbs down but we really just want to provide this to you and bless you just as God blessed us. So thank you so much for watching. We have big plans for 2019. We want to bring you along for the journey and we would appreciate it if y'all came. So we're super excited and here we go.